everybody and welcome back oh so happy to see you i am so 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 excited still from all the amazing stuff we did last episode man the snapshot preview that we did in this world ah it, it made me feel so good i love it so many cool features coming down to minecraft hopefully you guys are excited too if you didn't catch that episode don't worry don't you worry a thing there's a little link in the description there's a playlist you click it you go to the one right before this this is episode six that was episode five there you go you've been caught up but listen I had so much fun. We have so much to look forward to with these upcoming updates. Oh, so many new blocks, so many new slabs, stairs, crossbow, the crossbow. I think I have it right here. There it goes. Duck. Oh, God. Are you okay? Um, Hopefully I didn't get you. Uh, but we had so much fun. And uh, thank you all for all the support from that video and all the other ones before it. All the likes and comments. And, 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 and you know what? It feels like a big old happy family every time we get together and we do another video. So thank you all so much for being along for the ride. And I appreciate every single one of you. Um, but we got some news to get to. Um, uh, it, it might be a little sad, but it might be also happy at the same time. Uh, I don't think I'm going to continue with the snapshot for the Let's Play series, though. Um, I, I'm super excited. We're going to definitely play around with it when the next snapshot comes back. Um, and, but I'm scared. I'm very, very, <laughs> I'm super scared. Let me, let me, let me cock this back to show you how scared I am. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared because I know that snapshots are very unstable. Uh, I know that snapshots can totally change from one snap to, one snapshot uh, to the other, and we might lose uh, our world. We might, even though we do backups and we do backups of backups, uh, one snapshot to the next, you, we might lose our whole progress on a big build. We might lose stuff in the world that we did a lot of work to get to, <laughs> and that scares me. And that scares me. So what, what I'm thinking about doing is just going back to our last save. We didn't do much. If you think about it, we didn't do much from last, uh, from that preview we did um, to now. Only thing we did, well, we did prettify the cave that was behind us. We made this cute little well right here, which I could definitely just remake, all right? Uh, only thing we're gonna just get rid of is that, um, the beautiful new slabs <laughs> and the, that that wall. I can just replace that with cobble wall. Replace the bottom with just regular uh, stone uh, stone brick slabs. So don't don't you worry. Once it's official, once one fourteen comes, we'll just replace it and, and it's all gonna go back to normal. The cave. I can definitely just remodel the cave. And once the new blocks come officially for one fourteen, uh, we'll just come back and we'll just change those up again, just like we did before. We didn't. We're not gonna really lose much. And yes, it, it, we don't have our pan to pan a friend. Pan pan. Uh, I felt really bad. I didn't, I didn't bring Pan Pan all the way back. At the end of that last clip of the last video, I put Pan Pan back with her family. I, I just felt bad. I'm not going to kidnap a, 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 a panda bear and bring it all the way back home. You know, that's mean. That's rude. If anything, I bring the whole family over and we can have a whole nice little uh, habitat over here. So I'm not going to just take Pan Pan. Plus, there's video evidence. I don't want, the, you know, the the, uh, the authorities to come over and be like, you stole that panda. I saw it. We got video evidence. No, I returned Pan Pan and it's raining. What a lovely time. Let me go in the bar. It's, man, hold on. Let, let's flip. You know what? Let me go back in the house. Uh, man, come on, rain. Uh, see, that's a sad, you know what? That That's like when it's a sad day, you know, the, the rain starts coming down. <laughs> but don't you worry, though. Uh, uh, we're going to definitely come back. We're going to explore the snapshots when the next ones, the next, well, the next big one is released. We'll come back, explore it like we did on the last episode. But uh, don't you worry. Everything's going to be amazing. But... Let's do our quick question of the day. Uh, and then at the end of the video, I'll show you who the comment of the day winner is from the last one. So this is the question of the day right now. Come with me. Actually, I really wanted to go outside. It's raining, so please forgive me. I want to know what is your favorite texture from this. And I'm sorry, it's raining. Whatever. Uh, what is your favorite texture? I laid all the blocks down uh, uh, over here. Well, all, all the, the main blocks down. What is your favorite texture? from this last uh, update. This is the version three of the Jabra textures. What do you like the most? Do you like the bricks? The sandstone, I brought the sandstone. Andesite, stone. Uh, wait, no, that's gravel. <laughs> stone, andesite, diorite, uh, granite. The new, the, the new planks, the new planks. Uh, and the new logs. What do you think? What is your favorite texture out of all of these? And I'm sorry, it's raining. Please forgive. Uh, <laughs> which is your favorite texture? Let me know in the comments. Uh, whoever uh, and why? Let me know and why. Okay, Ex explain yourself. Don't just say uh, I like the granite. Leave me alone, sausage. Oh, this is granite. Uh, no, let me know why. Let me know why you like it the most, and I'll pick the uh, comment of the day on the next episode. Uh, one little side note: We didn't see this last episode, but I did go to a little desert that's over here to the back. Um, this smooth sandstone and the sand look exactly the same. 
I don't know what's happening here. This needs a, an, an overhaul. And this thing, I hate this line right here. I don't know what, why this, this, uh, that's thunder and lightning. Uh, I don't know why there's a line in my sandstone. This thing is just totally not going to help me with any kind of texture. Please, Joppa, please take that stupid line out. Make it more organic that I could just uh, stack and, and, and texturize. Uh, but that's it. Uh, if I had to pick mine, uh, I'm in love with this new andesite. This new andesite, it's gonna. I'm gonna add this to so many builds. It's it's just oh, dude, oh, it's gonna be so nice for stone wall variants. I'm not sure about this one right here. This one right here is a little. The regular stone is is kind of weird. It's kind of wavy. It's kind of too many grid lines going left to right. I wish it was a little more, um, a little more organic too. A little, a little more random, randomized and stuff. It's a little bit too streaky for me. But this thing right here, that's a beautiful texture. That's beautiful. I love the granite too. But this thing, man. Mm -mm. And I'm sorry you had to see this birch here. Please forgive me. Uh, but <laughs> let me go ahead. This is what I'm going to do. We're going to switch back to normal. Uh, go back to good old shady, shady, shades. Good old German boy pack. And, and we'll be back uh, to normal. And we're going to do, uh, you know what? We're going to build some in the farm uh, that you uh, might like. And that's been asked for quite a bit. All right. I'll see you guys in a second. Back to normal. And we're back to normal. Check this out. Oh, man. I miss the shades, okay? I miss the shades, the better foliage, the beautiful Jeremy pack. And and also, you know what I'm not going to miss? I'm not going to miss the uh, uh, me staying up late at night, uh, uh, just biting my fingernails, just thinking, oh, man. This world might get corrupted and die and explode, and then we lose everything around us. So um, it, it's a good, uh, it's a good trade-off. So <laughs> we'll be back to more snapshots coming up. But let's go, let's get to work, let's do some things. Oh, before we even get to it, I cleared this little spot out. So this could be a future project. We're not gonna do this today, but a little hope for the future. This might be a very nice little pond that we can have, maybe like a little fishing watering hole kind of thing. Uh, and then also, I want to put our uh, a little doggy house right here for our girl Bubbles. She's she she really wants her own house. She loves staying here with me sometimes and just hanging out i think she's guarding the uh, the wheat field still uh but she does deserve her own little house i want to do a little dog house right here pretty fight is put some nice little trees and make and make it look very very nice so that could be an upcoming project and i've been holding on to this fish to nemo for the longest time so i want to go ahead and drop nemo right here but before we do come with me we're gonna name this boy we got uh, an anvil set up right here oh and i rebuild the well um uh, it it doesn't have those beautiful bricks but it's set up so when the bricks come we could just replace this little cobble wall right here and pop put those bricks on there and add that little bit of color so it looks really really cool and it looks awesome look at that little well oh and check this out i ended up putting a little sea pickle for light over here and guess what Add a little bit of sea pickle down there and a little bit of, uh, I put a bone meal one time. So it's, um, it, it, there's some seagrass down there, but don't worry. It, the, the water still tastes delicious. I promise. It's very nice. Uh, where's my anvil? I know I have my anvil. What? Where's my anvil? Oh, man. It, I think I put it last before we switched. Oh, come on now. Okay, I think we have it. <laughs> Let's see if we have enough uh, iron to make an anvil. Oh, man. I think we just had enough. Let's see. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Uh, where is our stuff? Right here? No, here? Tw 21, and then with the ones we had downstairs smelting? Oh, come on, whatever, we'll name Nemo later. Stupid Nemo, whatever, we'll, we'll pick him up and name him later. It's it takes too long, I don't wanna go all the way down there. I'm lazy, and at the same time, I'm not. I really wanna build some stuff. Uh, but let's just drop Nemo in here. Nemo, I'll name you later. Enjoy your life in, in this new pond. There you go. Oh, look how pretty. <laughs> Nemo, you free. You free out of this bucket. I'll see you soon. I'll bring more friends, though. We're going to definitely bring more friends for Nemo. Maybe we can find a Dory variant. It's going to be so fantastic. But uh, today's episode is going to be awesome because if you didn't notice from the last time. What's up, girl? You want to come with me? Come with me, girl. We're going to go ahead and hang out over here. Uh, if you didn't notice from the last time, we had a little outline set up right here for our windmill. And it's a must-have in any crop situation. Look how beautiful these crops are. We have a windmill lined up, set up. I have the dimensions going. We didn't really do anything to it, but just texture it. I still haven't textured this part. So the main structure of the windmill will be right here. Let me see. Come here, girl. Where are you going? It's not interesting enough for you? Sit down right there. Crazy old girl. Uh, we need to change your colors. Uh, I'm going to get you a new leash later today. I promise. Okay? Thank you. Uh, so, <laughs> wait a minute. Maybe I could do it right now. I'm just excited. Hold on a minute. Girl, can I do this for you right now? How about a brand new collar for the day? 
ba bam bam bam. Oh, a little gray color. Oh, baby. You know what? I'll give you a pretty one for now. You know, it's it's a nice uh, color. It's in season. A little gray, light gray. Totally in season for the for the winter time. Okay, just trust me. Um, but <laughs> we had this cool little outline going. I also want to put a little structure next to the main uh, windmill. And over here we can have extra storage. Almost like a little farmhouse connected uh, to the windmill. And I think in maybe on the second floor there could be like a, a way in uh, to the actual middle part of the windmill. I'm not sure if i want to do a little um little balcony walk around area but that might be a pretty good thing to do uh but yeah let me go up here let me show you what we got so far uh this is the circle it's a pretty cool circle let's go up a little taller as so you can see it so this is the outline we have for the windmill looking very cool texture i still got to texture that remind me i gotta texture that thing um and then over here I just want to maybe uh, i don't think i want to lift it any more from this portion here i think i want, want to do like some kind of a, a wood outline a wood border around here and then then take it up another level i'm thinking three levels on this windmill and then in the middle to top portion of that uh we'll pop out the the blades going this direction and i got a pretty good idea for blades i think i'm not going to use wool this time so usually i do use wool for my blades i think i want to go ahead and use uh fences this time for the blades so let's see how that turns out uh but let's do a little bit of building on um, cami can oh hold on i need more material this is my box of junk right here um let's see give me that oak give me those trap doors give me that trap uh thing thing let's put that bucket of nasty old Nemo in there. Nemo's been in that bucket for I don't know how long. It stinks. Okay, now <laughs> let's do this. Let's see. How do I want to do this little outline? So I want to do a little border around here. Oh, and I'll take the shaders off after we do this little border. Uh, um, just I just want you to guys to see how how sexy this looks. Uh, but let's go. I want to do a little border really fast. Let's do something like this. Uh, let's see. Over here, I'm gonna do a double of those. Uh, get out of here, thing. Uh, let's do one here. Let's see. Is that looking good? Okay, let's keep this up. Uh, excuse me, dirt. I, right at this moment, you need to go. I'll bring you back. Scaffold. I can't wait for scaffolding. I can't believe we didn't have scaffolding in that uh, last stamp shot. I was hoping it was going to be there just to test that out. Uh, maybe soon. Maybe very, very, very soon. <laughs> uh, but another question I wanted to ask you guys, not like the question of the day or anything, but it's just a random question uh, that I would love to know. Besides this windmill, windmill <laughs> besides this windmill, what other farm like builds should we be adding next so uh you know there's a lot of stuff we can put on a farm uh we have a lot to do and i want to put everything possible that a farm would have in this world but what do you think we should add next what farming like building do we need to add in this area we have so much space for so many more builds what do you think we should, we should add next? Let me know in the comments. That's something I really, really want to want to see uh, would be the the most requested thing. So let's see. Put, put it in the comment section. Drop it down. Let me see what you guys what you guys think. Now for this part, I'm, I'm going to leave that blank because this is going to go up. But I like this little board, this little outline. And I'm thinking in between here, we can add some of the slabs going around like so. It's like uh, this. Come here, dirt block. Thank you for the pillaring. That was a big mistake. I missed that one. I'll put it back down. Uh, something like this going all the way around with the slabby actions. But, oh, come on. Got it. I, I had that. There we go. There we go. And then this one up here. Let's see if we can reach this. Come on. I'm tall. Okay. That's looking cool. Like a little outline, a little border. And then even more border action. I can go ahead and put little trap doors on these in between. I'm stuck. Hi, chicken. Uh, in between these guys, just to give it a nice little lip, lip to it. Get, get out of here, tall grass. I love you, but you gotta go. Oh, I gotta fix this, man. I, I, people are gonna start screaming at me in the comments. Ah, so you forgot to lift that up. Okay, I got you. I saw you screaming before you scrammed. Is that a word? Scrammed? Screamed? Screamed? Sorry, I love words. Uh, so let's keep, keep this up. And something like this is a really cool board. Can I please? Can, can I please put that? Thank you. Uh, and this looks really, really good. So something like. Okay, I don't even think I need to jump really at this point. Let's go right here and let's go right there. And this is at the edge of that. Okay, so something like that as a little border, a little outline. That's looking cool. I like that. I like that little outline. Now, on top of those, I might do another little trim and then we'll go ahead and on the inside, uh, we're going to go ahead and go up another level. Uh, I'm thinking about con continuing with the stone, but I don't know. I think I might break it up and do like a little. Um, like a wood section, almost like make it Tudor block ish. And look as the sun goes down. Let's watch the sunset together, everybody. This is so so nice. Oh, 
So beautiful. Okay, let me make it daytime. I don't have my bed here. Let me make it daytime. Let me texturize this little piece, and I'm going to lift this wall up a little bit to see how it looks. Oh, okay, and I'll take the shaders away. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow, look how pretty. Even that cow over there looks so cinematic. Look at him walking over there to the little watering hole. So cool. <laughs> All right, give me a second. All right, and we're back. Another cool, quick little thing that I did is I was able to actually to fix the connected texture. So this is the way Germs Pack is really supposed to look in 113. Uh, so we are actually get, have this little gradient. It blends into the next block. Look how awesome that is. So man, if you guys want to check out the pack, I'm going to put a little link in the description. Look how awesome the way this blends in together now. Perfect. Even the flooring. Oh, it changed the game. <laughs> it changed the game. So all the connected textures are working now. Uh, and let's go. Uh, so look, I added this little piece here uh just a little border with regular oak and a texture that look at this wall look at this textures i have to find this is what it was supposed to look like it finally got it fixed oh man it's awesome so check this out it looks really really good and we have this little extension i have right here in the front just to have like a nice little entryway and we have that same arch that we have over there in our barn all uh, right there that looks super super cool uh but let's build let's build a little bit right here on this little section um so i'm thinking about just doing uh tutor block everything and then we'll come in and pop out certain windows in certain spots so right here in this corner let's just go up one two three four i think four is fine so we're gonna go four and i'm gonna go four on this one and then in the middle i want to go ahead and mix some of the spruce strips and regular spruce planks just randomly mix them up uh something like this maybe one here and here maybe one like that and then come in here with a little tutor blockage and then lift that up something like that just mixing those in and i'm just gonna do this all the way around just like a so and then come in here again mix some of these up let's go bam bam and one of those like that just randomly going all the way around and we're just gonna do this on all of these blocks just every ow every other one. Oh come on night time oh man um okay, well, well, you know what forget all right so i did a little bit of progress not too much just i raised this up and i added the uh this uh, stripped uh oak right there and it looks very very cool because it kind of contrasts it very nice so it's not all just uh spruce everywhere and also over here i added uh, just a little outline of where the roof is gonna go and that's gonna be the top side it's gonna be like that just uh, i don't know if i'm gonna put lines in it like two to block that also or just leave it like this and maybe put some windows with some of the spruce just to break up all of that stripped oak but i think that's a good little pattern just for the roof to go up and down straight not to do nothing too crazy uh, but come on me let's do a little bit over here i did a couple cross beams here uh which isn't too much i think it's fine right there a couple little cross beams this actually comes up to here um so i'm not sure how we're gonna do this i went ahead and i have a, i made it like a little a little border around here just with these pillars going up by 11 on all of these uh and i added this little section here let's just get up right here uh so it's like a little walkway uh, I added uh, just a couple slabs on top, so you look at a little walkway over here, uh, and I might open maybe all of these up, or maybe just some of them, and then you can have like a little walkway to look around in this little section. Uh, I think I want to put some carpet and stuff, maybe some, uh, I don't know, uh, something down here on the bottom, just to break it up a little more. And then I'm going to take these up. I might recess it in the wall also like an extra layer so i can have a little bit more to work with a little more depth in these walls uh but so far i like that it's looking really cool uh can i no i'm just gonna do this uh but first you know what let me work on how we're gonna do uh this little roof part hmm uh, i'm gonna have to repeat this here on this side as well so let's see what if i do uh it's gonna be very low clearance if we get in from here it's gonna be like a too high but you know what that's fine uh, just so I can get this in and I'm gonna repeat that over here on this side So the way I've been doing it. I've been putting it on the off hand hand here um, When it comes to oak, it really takes so long um, to, to do oh god see that always happens um, It always takes longer when I do spruce I pretty much just go straight up the pillar and just start stripping as I go down with this with the oak It's just it's so many so little at a time the best way to probably do it is like this uh, so you just come in and then chooch, chooch, like that. Chooch, 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 chooch. God, I say I do it every time. And this is what the problem is. I do it every time. I almost do it so many times. It's embarrassing. So just like that. There we go. So these, oh, that's going to be tough. So I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do it like this. This is easier, actually. Let's just go up like this. 
and then I'll do it at the end because having that oak on the bottom, you're going to miss it almost every single time. Uh, so let's do it like this. I'm dying, aren't I? I'm going to die. Hold on. Let's take one more little hit and I'll eat. <laughs> All right, here we go. Then let's strip them now. Oh, it takes so long. Look at this. Stop. Place it, stupid. Uh, it's fine. We're good. <laughs> All right, so we'll strip those if anything. We'll, if anything, we'll strip these after. But let's... Let me show you how I'm going to do this roof. So, <laughs> I'll shift those in a second. So, for these, I'm going to go with a, um outer border like we kind of did over here. So, we can keep that kind of similar. So, an outer border of the regular oak, inner border of spruce. And we're just going to take it all the way down just like this. Oh, come on, you weird thing. Uh, there we go. I'll pick it up in a second. So I'm just gonna go straight up just like this super simple very very simple very nice uh, I'm just gonna take it all the way up and then once we get to the middle part uh, We're gonna do a little upside down stair and then we're gonna repeat the pattern on uh, this side So that's super easy uh, and then in the middle. We'll just fill that all up uh, with the spruce and I might pop in a window or two or something <laughs> on the top part as well like this little middle section once we connect everything up with spruce so um, it'll look pretty cool maybe something like that and maybe you do like a little a little nice twisty twist thing thing and maybe a little bit of uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll work on that uh, and then this guy uh, I'm thinking about this one doing the same thing. We're going to go all the way down just like so. Once we get to here, we're going to flip that down. I'm going to go with on this one a full block. So this one's going to be a little more, uh, a little a little nice, uh, a little higher peak to this one. Uh, and then this one, we're just going to go with a, oh, did I do this correct? I think so. Then we're going to go with another full one. Then we're going to go like this. We're going to do a little upside down. And then we're going to drop another full, a little upside down here. And then I'll probably put a slab on that. And then repeating the same thing on this side. And this is not even the windmill. This is just a little side connection house to the windmill. So once we get to that one, it's going to be a little crazier. Uh, so let's see. So something like this. And then I'll fill the rest. I'll fill all this up. Uh, with this peru so let me also finish this up and I'll be right back with you guys And I'll have like pretty much finished house on this side before we get to the windmill the sexy windmill part But give me a second. I'll be right back all right, here's the more progress. I lifted this up. Well, we already had this up to 11, so I just textured it up a little bit. And I came up with a cool little design, I think. It looks pretty cool. Almost like looks like a little cog wheel inside uh, where the uh, the blades are going to pop out to. And I did it on all the sides, which looks pretty cool. I like it. I like that style. We still need to detail it up. I ended up putting a couple little trapdoors there uh, to just to break up that line of oak that we have there. But I really want to detail it even more. Uh, for now, it's very base, very, very basic. <laughs> but it looks very cool. I don't know. I like that. I think uh, once we pop out the blade in the front, um, I'm going to work on like a little, uh, almost like what we did here, like a little uh, overhang of wood right here on the top and then maybe do like a nice little roof. I don't know if I want a big peak roof uh, or if I want maybe like a little dome looking style roof. I think maybe like a little domey style roof, if that's the word, <laughs> a domey roof uh, might be a good thing. Uh, I finished, a, uh, finished this little piece up here. So everything was spruce. And then I decided to put a little oak lining in the middle just to uh, run that line straight from that roof all the way to the tippy top. And on the top here, I just added a couple um, slabs. And on top of those, uh, in between each slab, we had some trapdoor little variants like like that it looks like it breaks up the pattern very very nicely uh look check this out on this side uh and then i ended up putting up a, a nice little double window right there two windows over here uh and i, I kind of like what we did also here having this little bottom border of just slabs and trapdoors of the spruce just to give it a little bit more detail to the trim and i like that i like that i was gonna do a couple more over here uh let's see do i have any more yes we got a bunch of slabs uh so if i do it here it'll be like this this and that just to give it a little trim uh and then also i want to do something down here so for this one i might do a couple of those too and then bring in the uh the stair so let's do it on that side so a little stair and then trap trap and then bring the stairs every other one going down like this and then trap all the way down like so and that gives it a cool little border around here too i love that so much i love that style i've been doing that for a while now and it just brings out so much more in these little uh this little medieval style stuff here it's so cool uh so let's finish this up right there perfect 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 <laughs> that's awesome and i think i want to maybe do like a little 
like a little outdoor storage, little overhang kind of thing over here. I will save that. I think I want to put some windows also on some of these down here, but we'll save that also for later. Uh, but let me go inside this little section and let's go up to this toppy top part uh, and see if we can make, uh, let's see, hold on. Let's see if we have any more. Oh, uh, 23 more. Oh man, you know what? We could break it up and do some dark oak instead for the blade. Uh, and I do want to use spruce. You know what? We might pop out. Should I? Hmm. I think I should. No, I think we should keep the oak going. Yeah, let, give me a second, guys. Let me knock down some trees. Uh, and I'll be right back. I'm, I'm just going to get enough so we can do the pop out. And then I want to do the blade, the main part of the blade part, the main part of the blade uh, with the oak. So let me get, maybe if we just knock down just a couple trees over here, it should be enough. I don't need that much, but give me a second. I'll be right back. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's work on this little blade design that I got in mind here. Uh, I'm thinking about going out. Let's see. I only want to go out. Oh, I almost fell. Uh, let's see, two from this end here. So it gives enough clearance. So if it's wiping around, uh, it's not going to hit anything down there, even though it's not going to move. It's fine. Uh, so I think right here is going to do the trick. So let's get rid of these guys. Hold on. Let's take it, take it down. This thing, bang. Go bye, bye, bye. <clears throat> okay. Um, and then let's start with this one. This is going to be the template how we're going to do this. So I I'm going to go up right here. Let's go up one, two, three. I'm going to twist it this way and then go up one, two, three. Twist it this way and go up one and two. And that's it. That's it. That's the main way the blades are going to go. And then I'm going to put fence all around this thing. But first off, let's take this piece off, this piece off, and... Uh, ow! Uh, that's perfect. Okay, look at this. This is going to be cool. Now, let's see if we could do this all together. Uh, so then this one, since it's going like this, then this is going to go one, two, three, placeholder. Then we're going to go... One, two, three. I messed that up. It's fine. Take that out. Take this out. Uh, then we're going to go down. Oh, let's see if I can jump over here. Perfect. Uh, and then we're going to go. Oh, man. I can't wait for a scaffold block. Look at this stupid thing I'm doing right now. Uh, <laughs> stupid dirt. All right. Then we're going to go down here. And then this is going to go one and two. And then we're going to get rid of this. Perfect. Uh, so let's get rid of all this stuff right here. Let's get rid of this. And it's almost nighttime. Come on. Okay, now this side, let's see if I can pillar over here. This one's gonna go the same way. Let's go up a little bit, get rid of some of these. See if we can finish this before nighttime comes. And nighttime's already here, it's too late now. Uh, that's fine. So one, two, three, ow. Um, let's get rid of you. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Okay, that's fine, I can go up from here now. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Should be fine, I should get those things before they despawn. Okay, let's see if we can do this one. So then this one's gonna go placeholder here, one, two, and then there's gonna be a third. Oh, I need to fix that, hold on. This is gonna be tough. Okay, hold on, let's do this. Okay, so this one actually was good. This is the one that's gotta go. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we're going to go with the two on the bottom end. So then this one's going to go, let's use that, it's fine. Let's use that here and then go one and two. Perfect. And it's not too low that you're not going to be scared if this thing starts swinging. Uh, and then we're going to do one more on this side. Uh, but you know what? It, it, this is, it, it's horrible. This is nighttime. Let me go up there real fast uh, and finish that last piece. And I'll be right back with you guys. And it's going to be amazing. I promise. And we'll work on some more details on this thing. Look at Bubbles all camouflaged in this grass right here. She's having a great time. It's like, where's Bubbles? What was, she, what was Bubbles hanging out? She's hiding in this little uh, camouflage. Little, she's a bush dog now. Uh, but check this out. We got it. Uh, what do you guys think? This is awesome. I don't know. I kind of like it. It's a little bit different from the ones that I usually do with the wool. Uh, you know, you usually do that little wool blades and they make it all nice and lovely. Uh, but I kind of like the way this feels. I even brought the shaders on so you can see how cool it really, really looks. Because I, I don't know, I'm a fan. I, I made it kind of beat up. Uh, so it like it, it's different holes and different spots where the fences are. And I mixed it up. I put a uh, spruce fence up and down and left to right. I put the oak fence. And I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool, interesting, something a little new, uh, and I don't know, I think it's cool. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you like this style, or would you, would you rather me go out with the old school plays with wool and stuff? But I kind of know, I kind of like that style, and it looks cool, and it doesn't really, 
interfere with anything. If you might think of my hit this, um, ah, again, I keep getting jump scares in the second time. Stupid creeper. Sorry, sorry. Uh, headphone warning. Sorry, um, but yeah, you could tell the um the blade is not gonna hit that roof. Oh God, come on, creeper! I just built this thing. Luckily, it didn't take that much stuff away. Just took this one and that one and the floor. Stupid creeper. Sorry, jump scare warning. I did the same thing last time. Oh, it took my trap doors. Stupid creeper took my trap doors. Stupid creeper. I'll fix this after. Come with me. We're also going to go inside. I'm so sorry. Oh, man. These creepers are going to be the, 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 the end of me. Look at this space in here. It looks super awesome. I got to lay out uh, different floorings to this thing um, and then seal this part up. Because I don't want to leave this open here. But come with me. We're doing a roof. Oh, man, my heart can't take this. Uh, we're doing a roof <laughs> up here. So let me know what you think. This is the style I'm going with. I'm going to see if I can do it on the other side. Sort of playing around with a shape. And I think this dome-looking roof would actually fit perfectly. Uh, but come on, me. Let's see if we could do this on Cammy Cam Cam. Uh, so we have this on oh, my heart. Uh, so over here on these corners, I'm going to go up just by two. I think it's fine. Uh, and then, oh, man, I don't know if I can keep building my heart. Um... <laughs> Stupid creeper. Um, and then, God, um, what was I doing? Okay, upside down stairs on these. Then we have some slabby slab actions on this here. Uh, these are full blocks and slab on the corner. No, it's like this. Slab, 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 and full block there. We have the little uh, trap door here and here. Uh, let me put this here. Repeat that action. So then this was, there we go. So full block, then we got that bad boy. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, let's fill all this in here. We don't need this part right in here. Fill all this in. So then this one would be a full block all around here. So double row of full block, I'm thinking right here, yes. Uh, little trap door action on these corners here and here and let's see what it looks like hopefully we can get this done before nighttime comes uh, so we got full blocks going this way let's see slab here slab here full block on these guys then we have that bad boy here there full block full block slab and Slab here, slab here, slab here. Let's see. Oh god. I don't think I could die if I jump if I fall from here, but I think it'll be fine. Uh so let's see. I think we got it. And then little light touches would be trap doors on this, trap door here, and let's see, slab here and there. Is that how we did it? That looks good. No trap door there, that looks fine. Let's come around. Let's see, see, see. And yeah, we got a couple more trapdoors on top, but that is our roof style. What do you guys think? I like it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then maybe do we have a trapdoor? Oh, wait, hold on. I missed one. Boom. Let's see. Yeah, we're looking uh, good. And that's it. There we go. Let's check this out. Let's go over here to this corner. And say, oh, I almost fell. Oh, let's get rid of some of this stuff here. Hold on a minute. Uh, so let's do poop, poop, poop. Get rid of all this poop. I mean, all this um, dirt. <laughs> there we go. I gotta go all around and sweep that up, but I think we nailed it. That is a cool little roof job right here. Let me let me take another little peek on this end. Yeah. I love that. All right, cool. Now, <laughs> let me do some little light finishing touches. Uh, see if I could come up with some kind of little interior separation down there. I would definitely not going to do like interior all the way, but just a, a, a layout of stuff. Come right back and we'll call it an episode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this one. This is going to, man, this is just added to the awesomeness of this world. Oh, I can't wait. To, <laughs> I can't wait to just take a, a step back. Maybe go up on that mountain over there and just check this out. This whole area. Oh, well, give me a second. We're almost done. Oh, so cool. Oh, hi. How's everybody doing? What? Oh, oh, you were waiting on the comment of the day, right? Yes, you were. You were like, so, so what is Sasha going to say his comment of the day? You were probably tapping your grandmama next to you like, yo, hey, hey, Grammy, I, I'm hungry. But, but did you, is Sasha going to do his comment of the day? And, and you know what? Yes.
Here we go. <laughs> so this is the comment of the day number three, I believe. And uh, this is coming from our last video. We did the snapshot and the, and the question of that day was, uh, what is your favorite feature from this update? And my boy right here, chaotic was like a hundred percent no doubt le pandas they are so cute especially the baby panda woo -woo -woo. so i had to pick this one it just it, it sounded the cute it's so cute the way you said it man so you know what comment of the day chaotic there you go uh you're gonna live forever in our one day to be um a a, a giant um um library of comments but uh, for now it's in this box <laughs> so uh let's go outside let's go see this awesome thing and oh just coming up the the little way here look at that oh that looks epic oh that looks so good behind the trees it's coming through oh, 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 oh wow okay i love it i love it look at that stupid little scarecrow oh that looks so good it's gonna you know what's gonna be difficult finding out where i'm gonna take a screenshot from i don't even know this is looking so oh look at that oh i'll make sure we do a nice little flyby at the end uh so you can see a little cinematic of it but there it is all done squared away as far as interiors we don't have much uh i just set this up with whatever little bit of wheat we had i have a couple blocks here it looks like this thing kind of twists around kind of grinds it up down here so uh we have that uh, looking very cool. I, I detailed the ceiling a little bit with some trap doors and some slabs. Uh, here, there's some dark oak in the middle. Uh, and it looks like this grinds up like crazy right here. I don't know. I don't know. I, it has to work. Somehow, it works. Trust me, it works. Uh, and then, uh, coming out inside, we don't have any furniture, but I did lay out all the rooms, kind of, sort of. Uh, so, big old entrance right here. Uh, oh, I think I should add a... S Hold on. I might add another crossbeam right here in the middle, but that's fine. For now, I'll leave it. Uh, so this is going to be main storage for all crops, I'm thinking. So i uh, going to have little bins all over the place here for crops. And we'll probably end up doing that on the next episode. Uh, oh, I need I missed that trapdoor. Uh, whatever, I ran out. I I'll go get more later. Uh, <laughs> and then back here, we have a little tiny little side closet looking thing. We could even do a basement down here. Put a little hidden lighting for now. But down there, basement, I think. That'd be pretty cool. And then coming up to the tippy top, we have this little spot here, open little railing so you don't fall off down the stair. Uh, and then we have this little nook kind of thing. I don't know. Over here, we can put even more storage, bulk storage, crazy old storage. Maybe a little um, office space here or something. So whoever's running the um, this crop area or whatever the farm, and go ahead and keep like a little uh, shelving section here with a bunch of uh, uh, notes and, and, and requests. And so what? I don't even know. Uh, and then we have a little section over here to go upstairs. So this actually heads over right here to uh, the main windmill section. I put trapdoors all around the floor so nothing spawns out here. Uh, so I left that there. I want to get some uh, carpet too and maybe spawn. Sprinkle it in here, maybe some gray carpet or brown carpet or something like that. That'll be pretty cool. Uh, I got a little spot here. Oh, we got a little note block over here. That's super cool on uh, Jeremy Peck. It looks like a little barrel, uh, so it's looking very cool. And then up here, it just seals off. I didn't have any more. Sp I didn't want to put anything else up there. Uh, so everything is sealed off and lit up very nicely over there. Uh, and then upstairs, we have this last little area. This could be uh, like a bedroom maybe um or a little bunk bed lofty kind of area um so whoever's working uh the fields they uh, they and the the assistants can live up here i don't know we'll see i'm taking applications if you guys want to uh work for um, the uh mythicals crop uh crop and co i think we're calling it i don't have no idea i just made that up uh, just leave your application down below in the comment section put hashtag uh, uh resume and let me know your farming experience and then all the best uh people People. you can we're gonna hire you I'm gonna hire like five people up in here uh, so <laughs> this is super cool I am in love with our windmill thank you though everybody for watching we're gonna be back very very soon with more building probably in the next episode we're gonna we might slow it down and do some a little smaller this thing literally took me almost two days literally almost took me two days uh so maybe we might slow it down and work over here in the back and uh, do uh a little girl bubbles a little doggy uh kennel house sash thing thing and maybe we'll prettify uh that little pond and everything do something real cool uh but i might even sneak in a live stream uh, uh coming up too so maybe do some mining maybe do some resource gathering i'm almost tapped out i hardly have anything left uh so let's see if we can get some stuff together maybe on stream or something and we can do a little bit of, of chit chatting uh so follow me on twitch 
uh, it is mythical uh, sausage so twitch.tv forward slash mythical sausage follow me on there links is in the description as well but i'm out of here for now thank you everybody for watching and i'll catch you on the next episode goodbye look at this i love it <laughs>